Hey guys, we're just doing a set of injectors on another 1KD. Bit of a grotty benching situation at the moment. I just wanted to show you, obviously, some of the leftover parts. So we changed those top seals, new pipes, all the gaskets and that. That was mince meat, all those washers there, single use only. These EGR gaskets will get replaced. And here's the EGR valve. Okay, so just wanted to show you, typically, this video is just going to be a short one, I think. I think, you know, I'll try um, to show you, and we've done it before, and we've got video showing you how to clean this, but it's been a while since we showed you what a lot of them are like. Now, we've been doing it for years, so I suppose that's why we don't worry about it too much, but let's have a look and see what they're like. So the back of the, the, back of the throttle body, if you like, oh, typical amount of build up there. I don't know how to get the light right to show you. Then looking in from this end here, it's obviously off the vehicle, but you can get a fair idea. Some people would look at that and go, oh yeah, mine's not too bad. Right? The vehicle is being fed garbage. It is bad, okay? Bad idea, manufacturers. You should have come up with something else, right? You can see that build up on the right hand side there. My mine's not too bad. Looks all right in there. Well, on the right there, that's about 10 mil thick. I'll give you the mail. And without me bending down too much. Yeah, so it's mainly on the back of the elbow there. You can see it's less on the left side. Well, you want to get in there and have a, you want to get right in there and have a look. You want to go up, a, you want to go up the cave? There you go. Take you up the cave. There you go. How do you like that view, huh? How's that? Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Hey, that's what you want in your engine, isn't it, guys? Whose idea was this? Absolute stupidity. Come up with a better system, manufacturers. EGR is a joke. At least now that you've got DPFs, take the exhaust gases from after the DPF, where it's clean. We don't have all this soot. What are you thinking? Anyway, what would I know? Great idea, isn't it, this exhaust gas recirculation on a diesel have a look at that wait till we go over the vehicle and have a, should we go over the vehicle and have a look in the manifold you're really going to love that let's go over and have a look okay so here we are at the vehicle side of the game okay let's not get too excited All right. yeah mine doesn't look too bad doesn't look too bad oh mine was all right yeah yeah mine, mine looked all right yeah here you go how do you like that does that look all right how do you like that? On that back wall there, it is absolutely smothered like a borry. I don't know what that is, you know? I mean, this is nothing new, guys. This is what we look at all the time, but you're probably going, holy manoli, I better clean mine out. Well, it's not just about cleaning it out. It's how tough are these engines to be fed this garbage this long and still run as well as they do? Imagine how good they'd be if they ran on clean, filtered, cold air. Not this garbage. On the back side there and over toward the right side of the picture, let's say, I don't know, 3, 2 o'clock. It's around about the 10 mil thick. That's the continuation going down of that elbow section we showed you on the bench. And as it goes down, I can tell you, it's kind of piled in there like something warm and runny. But not so warm and not so runny. You know, quite thick and goopy. You know, I'd love to be able to have the camera an extra hand while I was cleaning this out. Now, the next step is, now a lot of people would go, oh, that's cactus, you know, you got to pull the intake off and clean that out. And, you know, maybe that's kind of right. Maybe it's not, but, you know, there's a lot of experts out there. I've only got my experience to go by. What would I know? But you probably can't see it, but if you get in there properly, it looks pretty bad, that's for sure, and that's what you're looking at, and you're going, pull that manifold off. And you could be right. I'm not saying whether you're right or wrong at this point, thinking that way. You could be right, okay? Now, what I would like to say about it is, though, well, all lights and cameras aside, when I look in there, I can see down to number four port, which is straight across from there, right, right there. I can see down to the port, and I can see a rectangle, and I know that once we get to the end of that manifold just there, not far in from all this goop just here, you know, all this goop here. Once we get just down here, you know, 
it clears up. There's a lot less buildup. This is actually quite crazy. This is, I'll be honest, this is one of the worst ones. What you can see right there, it's just like a pile of like wet, muddy, slurry, like a, we just had a volcano erupt and it's like, you know, it's just terrible, you know? Touch it? No way, mate, not happening. Never touch this stuff. Get some gloves and put your best clothes on, of course, you know? Your best clothes you don't want. Throw them in the bin when you're done, most likely, depending how messy or clean you are. Very messy job. I know a lot of you watching this have already done it. I just want to point out, this is not average. A lot of them look a lot better than this at this point, and that's good. So if they look better, that's awesome. If it looks like this, it doesn't mean you need to pull off the manifold and clean it. If it's just you and your own time, it's not costing you any extra money, just some gaskets and coolant and stuff. If you've got to take this EJR cooler off and this coolant hoses here, right? Right? So you might as well drop the coolant and do a coolant flush while you're at it, right? It's worth doing, okay? But if you've got to pay someone, this is quite a few hours work to get this off and clean it all up, you know, doing it properly. Um, if we do a manifold clean, we're going to clean out the EJAR cooler as well, okay? So, at the end of the day, if you're going to do it, it's quite a lot, you know, coolant, gaskets and labour. Let's just put a figure out there that it could be close to an extra thousand bucks. So, when it comes to that, you really want to know it needs to be done. You don't want to be doing it just because it looks bad right there, okay? So, what we're going to do is clean all this up because there's quite a massive build up there. We're going to get one to two cups of crud out right there and then what we do is then we can see down into that port better and if we believe it's clear to that port then we reach forward down this way with our fingers you can reach down finger length down and we're going to sort of have a feel around down this side and up the top and over the other side around here you know and just see what the build up's like if need be we can put a camera down there and have a bit of a look around and make a decision from that respect now in my opinion Again, if it's your own car and you're doing your injectors, you've got the full kit off me and you just want to do the whole thing, just do it and then it's done. But if you take it to a workshop and it's a matter of money and you know it's got to stop somewhere, then what we need to do is have a judgment on does it really need to be done. If you sort of haven't got the money or you really haven't got, you could stretch it, but we're trying to help you out here. So what I would say is if there's less than about a three millimeter build up, right? So hard for me to say exactly. I'd have to be there, see it, feel it. But the guys we recommend, they're on the same page. They know what I mean. They know what it's like when it needs to be done. And they know what it's like when it doesn't really need to be done. It could be good, but, you know, whatever. It's always going to be better if you do it. But like I said, lots of things are better if you do it. But it's got to end somewhere, I understand. And that's what I'm saying. Some of this has got to end. But the point I'm really trying to make is it might not be as bad as that looks. Because that does not look very nice at all does it so we've had plenty that look like this and we clean that out and we feel up there and go yep yeah, it's not too bad so don't panic yet the owner of this car which this might even be today is this today or another day i don't know when i'm going to put this up but anyway whoever's car it is you may or may not know i might send you the link so you know it's yours whatever um we don't know yet. We've got to get that out of the way to make the decision. But I want to be clear, looking at that, you'd think the decision is yes, clean the manifold, and I totally agree with that. But I just want you to understand, we're on your side to try and save doing it. If you've got money, then of course, let's just do it and it's done. But if you want to save quite a bit of money, let's clean that out the way, have a feel, have a look, and have a proper judgment call before we go ahead and make a decision. Anyway, guys, there you go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you liked looking at all that dirty EGR mess. Have you seen enough? You want to go have a look at that other end again, or you had enough? Yeah, here it is, you know. It's only filmed in 720p, because if this was 4K, it would do your head in, wouldn't it? Could you imagine that? Look at that stuff. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible stuff, eh? Look at that. Filthy, filthy EJR. Now, why is it not too built up under there? It's got a bit of a dusting. You still get a little bit of oil there. That's why you get a little dusting. Because 
the crankcase ventilation system puts a small amount of oil in the intake, right? But it's all that soot that's coming in here that caused the problem, right? So it's coming in here dry, but when the turbo, when, when it vents backwards, that's where you get a bit of that oil pushed down through this EJR valve and backwards through here. That's why the soot's coming back and hitting the back of that flap there, right? And that's why you have a plate with a hole in it, so the turbo pressure can whistle backwards through the hole, okay? Because it all comes backwards, all right? Comes back, backwards through the system. Anyway, that's another story. It's getting a bit late. I'm getting a bit silly. But look at that. If you looked in, you'd go, I've seen it before. I've seen people do posts on Facebook go, oh, I had a look at mine. It's not too bad. Looking from there. Why? Because that doesn't look like, let's have a look at some of these, because that doesn't look like these. It doesn't look like this. This is the wall of foam, right? Because it doesn't look like that. Yeah, we've seen worse. So, because your EJ valve didn't look like that, you think, oh, yeah, mine's not too bad. Well, I hope that's an example of the EJ valve didn't look too bad, but the intake further down looks pretty bad. This one, the EJ valve looks bad. Quite often, they can look like this. Yeah, this one. And be really clean by the time you get down the elbow. And then you've got these ones. That's, you know, a really one... You know, I mean, look how much airflow it's got left. And, of course, that's the elbow from the same vehicle, right? And a whole heap of old soot that... You know, look at that stuff. You can't feed that through your engine as well. So, while we're at it, I'm going to mention again, don't worry about the on-car cleans. You need to pull it apart, strip it down, have it physically cleaned out. And this is what they can look like. All right? As low as... Oh, yeah, mine doesn't look too bad. There it is. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Well, that one... Is that and that and that's at 62,000 Ks almost okay and of course with the plate with a 7 mil hole that's what they stay looking like like that and like that there it is not like I'm recommending it or anything I'm just telling you it works you know I like it it works it's your decision to do your homework on that Clean ones look better. And another one. There's another one there. How they stay. There you go. Right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. We've got heaps more awesome information coming your way. And you know what they say. Bada bing, bada boom. Catch ya.